It's Sunday, so I wanted to film my skincare. I have been out of hyaluronic acid for a while, and if you watch my skincare videos, you know that that's one of the products that I always need. Like, I need a vitamin C, a niacinamide, and a hyaluronic acid on top of, like, the cleanser and the moisturizer. But luckily, Handmade Heroes sent me a package, and the Snow Shroom Hyaluronic Acid is one of it. Uh, so I'm going to try this out. Uh, they also sent me a lot of other products, but... I got um, a detangler brush. I really like this. I actually have one in each bathroom now. So if you get out and your hair is super tangled, this works really well. I've got a cuticle oil. I've put one of these everywhere next to my nightstand and my desk. Um, I have one in the bathroom. So I'm just always prepared. And I have their lip mask. So I'm going to try this out at the end. But I've already cleansed my face. I washed it with um, the youth to the people kale cleanser and the steps on this actually have like first you cleanse then you tone so I've toned using the Murad um, C toner I like this it's very refreshing and the next step is the hyaluronic acid so let's let's test it out okay so here's the hyaluronic acid it's called thirsty no more which is Funny because I was just thinking that me not having hyaluronic acid for my face kind of feels like not drinking any water for my body. Um, it's not a good feeling. So it's very clear, scentless. I'm gonna need more of this. <clears throat> All right, first time. Let's see. Oh my god, it glides on so nicely. Ah, oh, yes, a hundred times yes. Like, I already feel my face hydrating. So, the next step from after this is the um, Bacchiol oil that came with it. It's a replacement for retinol, so I'm gonna try that next. Okay, I was wrong. So it says after the hyaluronic acid to moisturize. So I'm going to use this um, First Aid Beauty Moisturizer. I really like it. It is non-comedogenic, which means if you have sensitive skin, it's actually not going to make you break out. I really liked this one. I got it a while ago. And surprisingly, it's lasted a really long time for the size bottle that it is. So we're going to moisturize and then try the booster oil. Okay, the Bakuchiol oil is next, and then it says to put on your SPF, which I'm gonna go in with the Murad um, SPF. This one has not left my skin greasy one time that I've used it, and before this, I had another one that I really liked, uh, the La Roche-Posay. I'm going to attach to link that one. Uh, the La Roche-Posay one had hyaluronic acid in it, so I really liked it. I still use the serum, for the hyaluronic acid um, with the moisturizer, but I ran out of it, and the Murad one is uh, the second one I tried, and it's really good as well. So I'm gonna try this booster oil, <clears throat> and just like, it might not show in the video, but I do give my skin a little bit of time in between these steps just to kinda absorb the product, and um, then put on the next one. So you know, just kinda give it some time. This one? has a bit of a scent, but it's like, it's a nice scent. It's minty and it goes on nicely. It is oily, so if you don't necessarily want to have an oily face for a little while, you could always skip this step, but for nighttime routine, I think it's great. All right, I'm going to give it a few seconds to absorb and then do the moisturizer and then test out the lip mask. I've realized a couple of times I said moisturizer, like when referring to this and when I was talking about the La Roche-Posay sunscreen. I said it because they're also moisturizing. They're not moisturizers. So I um, apologize for that. What I really meant is the SPF. And this is the Murad SPF. Like I said, I ran out of my other one. But just to go in and protect your skin so this one does not have a scent not really i mean it has somewhat of a scent but 
it's very faint and you don't smell it and it absorbs quickly it doesn't leave white overcast on your face and it's just a really nice mattifying moisturizer that I won't feel once it absorbs unlike a lot of other ones that I've tried I've only found two like I said this one and the La Roche Posay one that I don't feel like my face is melting off when I have them on all right lip mask and then we're done okay and here's the lip mask I hate digging into these pods and I don't have anything but a q-tip so really I just oh it glides out nicely and it's moisturizing again very faint scent it's very rich and creamy you just a little bit goes a long way handmade here is thank you <laughs>